Peace and love to all the guys and goddesses in the high vibrating species of the planet, man. What it is, what it do, y'all. What's busting out there? How we living? How the world treating y'all? Huh? Talk to me, class. Academates, what it is. Welcome back. Welcome back. Y'all you know what I mean? Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for your boy. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you kindly. Thank you kindly. Peace to you. Love. Uh, how, how we living, though, man? How, how, for real, for real. How we living out there? Y'all you know what I mean? We 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 staying high, we staying vibing, highly. You feel me? I hope so, man. I hope y'all doing good, man. Y'all you know I mean? Cause I am, I am, I am. No lie, I am doing great. Um, so yo, check it out, check it out, check it out, check it out, class. We got we got Marshall Carter and Dark. I don't even know what. I don't even listen. It's just listen. It's another department, I guess. I don't know. We're going to find out just like when we dabbing and dabbing and all the other. We're going to find out what this is, too. Hey, it's kind of funny, though. I'm kind of looking at it like Marshall Mathers, you know what I'm saying? Sean Carter. I'm sorry. Y'all. I'm just, I just be, you feel me? <laughs> It'd be funny if it was to have something to do with them for real, for real. But I, I don't know. I, you know what I'm saying? Before I even say I highly doubt it, I don't really know. But, um, yo, it's, it's this one ain't going to take long anyway. You know what I'm talking about? So, uh class i hope you got what you need because i do and without further ado you know what i'm saying let's not even waste no time y'all you know what i mean academates uh you know what it is we do and if you're new bussin marshall what we do carter and dark limited if you've been following this series up to this point yeah. you've learned about a number of different groups and organizations within the scp universe true there's the SCP Foundation itself, of course, True. and their goal of containing and researching the anomalous in order to protect the status quo. So There's they say. The Global Occult Coalition, who share the similar GFC? goals to the Foundation, but care less about containing anomalies they and just they want to the safety something. of mankind. They're just trying to put some down. There's also the Church of the Broken God and the Sarkic Cults, who blend the anomalous with religion as part of a vast war for the sake of the planet. Yeah, 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 yeah. But now yeah. we get to Marshall, Carter, and Dark, who utilize anomalies not for altruism or some grand goal, but simply for profit. What they own. Just like anything perceived to be rare and valuable, there are those who would profiteer off of it, and anomalies are no different. M, C, and D have been involved in a large number of anomalous objects known to the Foundation, so this video will go over their basic history and some of the notable examples. Vibranium. So, a big question might be who exactly are Marshall, Carter, and Dark, the individuals who presumably founded the organization. Once again, the lack of canon rears its head, and the three individuals are hardly public figures, so it's not an easy question to answer. The Wills and Ways series of tales presents them as Amos Marshall, Ruprecht Carter, and Percival Dark. Okay. And they have extended their lives anomalously by decades at least. It's occasionally referenced in a few tales and articles that Dark is the true founder of the organization and is far older and more mysterious than the other two. I would Although, imagine. again, this is not necessarily true. I definitely would imagine that, though. SCP-2463 and the accompanying documentation... Sounds like they're doing conscience transfer force statuettes to the last of them. have the capability of converting any water from a natural source into petroleum. These statuettes apparently originate from the third century, when Roman Emperor Valerian, while captured by the Persians, contacted an individual known as D. Mercator, implied to be dark, and asked for something that would utterly destroy his enemies. Damn. 
D. Mercator contacted one of his sources, who supplied the six statuettes. But Valerian died before he could utilize them. Shit hit hard, didn't it? Mercator wrote a letter to Valerian's son, the current emperor, informing him of his father's business deal and telling him that the statuettes will be held by Mercator's organization unless he could pay a sum of 60 million gold coins, an exorbitant amount. The documentation shows that this amount was never paid, and so of the statuettes not. were sold and repurchased a number of times to different individuals, such as one of the founders of Baghdad, before being eventually confiscated by the SCP Foundation. Regardless of how Marshall, Carter, and Dark came together, they've certainly been doing this for some time now, and they've managed to keep their identities and operations pretty secretive. But what are their operations? Right. Talk to him. As 2463 talk showcased, MC and D buy, find, or otherwise acquire certain strange and unusual objects, mainly those that the SCP Foundation would classify as safe, and then proceed to sell them, often at auctions to the highest bidders. They don't especially care too much about who they sell these objects to, as long as they're rich and powerful, although there are certain exceptions to who they'll sell to. Right. The documentation for 2463 shows MC and D bidding on one of their own items to prevent the Mana Charitable Foundation from purchasing it, as they likely wanted to take it out of circulation. Mm. The MCF is an organization that uses anomalies to try and benefit the world. The Serpent's Hand present a much larger threat to their operations, however. Why is that? A group devoted to spreading awareness of the anomalous oh, yeah, yeah, and taking yeah, yeah, yeah. down the veil of secrecy. I mean, come on, man, what's Although wrong with that? Organizations such as the Foundation and the GOC are opposed to MCD's operations, they can't quite compete with their level of economic power. And ultimately, there are better ways for them to spend their time and efforts. Although MCD possess a vast amount of wealth and control, and could easily plunge the world into thermonuclear war, they choose to use this power to simply gain more wealth. Who are we dealing with here? Who, 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 who are we dealing with? It's said 100 people specifically work for MC and D at any given time, running a highly efficient operation. But they will occasionally outsource some work to other organizations if necessary. They acquire their products through various means, primarily from purchasing items directly from anomalous creators, such as Dr. Wondertainment and the Factory. They will also trade with Prometheus Labs and obtain art exhibits from Are We Cool Yet? They then sell these items across the world, and they claim the Chaos Insurgency is one of their biggest clients, a group that uses anomalies for personal benefit, often weaponizing them. Let's discuss some of the interactions that MC and D have had with the SCP Foundation to give you perhaps a better idea about the group, although keeping in mind these documents are written from the Foundation's perspective. As mentioned, most of the items that MC and D deal with are considered safe by the Foundation, but that does not mean they're harmless, and the group generally cares little for ethical concerns. SCP-604, The Cannibal's Banquet, is one of the more grotesque examples. This SCP is a set of tableware, dishes, and glasses that, when an edible substance, primarily animal matter, is placed on or in them, turns into human flesh or bodily fluids. Oh, hell no. The transformation will be the closest approximation between the two, so fleshy steaks will become cuts from a human thigh, no. and red wine will turn into human blood. Fuck no, no, <laughs> These transformations no. are limited to the size of the dish, so most pieces will transform into an infantile equivalent, such as chicken wings becoming tiny burnt infant arms. What? Placing oh. items vertically on the dishes does allow for larger growths, such as placing a snake upright on a dish and it turning into a human throat and mouth. Marshall, Carter, and Dark acquired the item from a secluded monastery that was using it to practice the rites of communion, believing it to be the body and blood of Jesus Christ. After MC and D acquired it, they began using it as an exhibit in a restaurant, offering it to certain members as a chance to safely test the waters of cannibalism. Another trait of SCP-604 is that if any still living material is placed on its surface, 
it will transform into a moving human body part. Such no. as a starfish turning into a six fingered baby's hand Man, get the that can flex its fingers. Get out of here, bro. Get this the phenomenon f- is oh, highly hell. desired oh, by MCD's clients. And so kittens, puppies, and small monkeys were often used with continued efforts on their part to create a human head capable of intelligent speech. Man, this is crazy, bro. For- <laughs> Another example of their moral. What in the unnatural hell is that, dude? Like, for real. Like, what is that? I don't want no parts of that thing, man. Whatever that is, bro, y'all can have that shit. Y'all can have that shit. Is SCP-1660, Unearthly Forest. Mm -hmm. 1660 is a relatively small parallel universe, accessible only by lighting a special decorative lamp and stepping through a gate the smoke produces. The universe seems to consist of a large forest, surrounded by an extremely durable wall around and below it, and the sky above it seems to contain a layer of highly dangerous gases. The forest is filled with different flora and fauna, some familiar to our world, such as brown bears and deer, and other things unique to 1660, such as cougar-like creatures capable of echolocation, and some sort of bioluminescent armored cross between a reptile and a mammal, two meters in length. These creatures possess forepaws jointed like human hands, and are also sapient, having created simple tools, fire, and their own language. Their cave paintings seem to show images That's like the Komodo dragon of Komodo dragons right there, ain't it? That's like a real Komodo dragon. Man, I wouldn't be surprised if somebody got them motherfuckers as some actual pets, man, or some guardians over our damn... I'm sorry. ...of them being hunted by humans. I'm sorry. And then another set of humans that saved them, wearing the SCP Foundation symbol. It seems that MC and D was using 1660 as a hunting grounds for clients, and now the sapient creatures worship the foundation as their saviors. MC and D aren't always morally bankrupt madmen focused solely on profit, however, as SCP 2501 shows. 2501, the claw, is a large mechanical gauntlet seemingly created by Russians prior to the 1960s and its functions are permanently turned on, with no way to alter or disable them. When an individual wears the gauntlet, they are capable of exerting immense pressure on any object within sight, simply by holding the gauntlet in front of them, and squeezing the claw so that the object is between it. This pressure is capable of crushing a soup can from a meter away, flattening a tank from 200 meters away, and potentially even crushing asteroids or planets. How MC&D acquired this item is unknown, and they apparently sold or lended it to a few clients before deciding it was simply... Didn't Thanos throw a moon at Iron Man? Let's go. ...too dangerous. Rather than risking a wealthy individual try to flatten the sun, they shipped it off to the SCP Foundation for safekeeping. Although there isn't much love between the two groups, they well, acknowledge that the Foundation is better son, at keeping dangerous things safe and contained. SCP-2776 is another interesting example of the potential power that MC&D can wield, and their capabilities of affecting history. What's that? 2776 is essentially a lifelike automaton resembling George Washington. 
This robot contained some prosthetic features available in the 1700s, such as glass eyes and false dentures, but also possesses some highly advanced features, such as armored plating and a small fusion reactor. Letters recovered reveal that MC and D created 2776 using the corpse of George Washington, Wrong who died complexion. while still an officer in the French and Indian War. And when you do, when you, when you do, when you actually do the real research on this guy, wrong, as well as more yeah, firepower, he'll, he'll, he'll and so MC and D supplied both with 2776. Yeah. One of their employees, <laughs> named Martha, was assigned to maintain the automaton and he was given an estate away from prying eyes to avoid people discovering his true nature. After winning the Revolutionary War, 2776 was put into a standby mode until he was recovered in 2007 by the SCP Foundation. 2776 was not aware of his mechanical nature and eventually broke containment after watching a television program describing a buyout of an American company by a British company. His core began emitting massive amounts of gamma radiation, and he killed everyone in his path as he moved towards London until he was recontained. It's hard to look at Marshall, Carter, and Dark and see them as anything close to good, but it is easy to see them as realistic, at least as far as an SCP universe is concerned. Merchants taking the rare and valuable and finding a profit with them have existed for thousands of years and it makes sense that anomalies would be no different. Right. While the SCP Foundation and the GOC will continue to raid MC&D facilities and reclaim objects, they don't make a grand effort to wipe them out either. Perhaps this is because of instances like SCP-2501, where they know that there are worse groups for anomalies to end up with, and hope MC&D still bring the really dangerous items to them. Or perhaps they realize that going to war with MC&D would be a lot like poking a bear with a stick, and cause quite a bit of trouble for both sides. Either way, MC&D have dealt with the rich and powerful for a very long time, I'm sure. amassing quite a fortune. I'm sure. And as they say, money makes the world go round. <clears throat> yeah. Uh, let's take it right here, so... Without question, Marshall Carter and Dark are one of the most important pieces on the chessboard of anomalous world of the of the anomalous world. I got something right in my way. I'm sorry. Uh, occasionally putting other players into check, but never intimate. For Marshall Carter and Dark, the planet is in Adric. <laughs> int, int, what the hell? Oh, yeah, I thought I, I'm probably intricate. Intricate. I'm sorry intricate network that they have secured safely benefit uh, beneath their thumb uh, where winning and losing are meaningless terms and there is no to no, 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 no board no, no. I mean shit man it don't it don't really even matter it don't really even matter see, see what I'm saying it's all about see what I'm saying they're playing they're playing the game and I knew that's what that that's really what that was about you know what I'm saying that's like the this is like uh, god dang Goddamn Nick 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 Nicholas Cage, uh uh Lord of War, you feel me? They they get they get the dang things and they selling to both sides, any side, whoever got that dime, you know what I mean? Whoever got the coin and you know what I'm saying, you look like you, you gonna do something that we own, then we'll sell it to you 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 see he said, you know what I'm saying, they'll sell to anybody with the bread but certain people with the bread, you feel me? So they it like it, it don't matter, you know what I'm saying, just because you got the money don't mean they just gonna sell you some shit. Cause if you on some lame shit, you know what I'm saying, I wouldn't sell you nothing either. Especially if you ain't gonna really, you know what I mean. So, I, I get I get that aspect of it. That's dangerous, bro. Cause, <laughs> I mean, that's dangerous, bro. You know what I mean? You, cause you, I, I wouldn't give a damn. You feel me? It's bad. It's bad enough. You got like it's bad enough that you got agencies like 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 the GOC. You know what I'm saying? That just want to merc shit. They don't want to tell you nothing. They just want to get it and merc it. You feel me? And then you got, I mean, I, I get the actual SCP Foundation. I get them. I get them. They get it. They want to study it. But I, I feel like their methods, some of the methods, some of the stuff they go by, it's a bit harsh. And especially when you just tossing people out there like Deacon. <laughs> when you do, I mean, when you, the stuff y'all do to D-Class, man. 
Y'all ain't right. The stuff y'all do to D class, man. You know what I'm talking about? So, but these cats, yeah, yeah. Y'all gonna have to keep y'all eyes on these boys because I don't know what they own other than some some mischief. You know what I'm saying? For the dime. And and as you say, it's it's all about playing the game. You know what I'm talking about? Like there is no need to move pieces when you can move the board. When you can end the match at any time, there's only one reason to continue. Man, get the fuck out of here, bro. You know what I'm saying? So, and and, and this and this is what we and this is what we doing. This is what we doing. This is how we gonna you know what I'm saying? This is how we gonna play with this stuff. That's crazy, yo. But then, like you said, they don't want to get rid of them either. Because the, uh, apparently, these boys, they they want the most dangerous stuff. So, you know what I'm saying? They going, they getting out there and they going to get to it. And they going to get the business done. Obviously, they going to get the business done. So, and if, if it's three of them and they operate and they got their little operation going, you feel me, with, with their little team. And they got it, they got it busting like that. Then, obviously, they, you know what I'm saying, they're, they're, they're good for something. You feel me? But when you when you snatching little things up and you just pitching it on the black market, then come on, bro. Like, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. It's like, it's like hold up, folk. Like, hold on. Let's. What is that? What can it do? Is that all it does? Hold on, bro. No, no, no. Hold, hold on. No, no, no. Just hold on. We don't want to just do that just yet with that. Let's. Let's check that out. Matter of fact, you know what I'm saying? Listen, let's, we got some more stuff to look into. Let's just give that one to them and let them deal with that. Because I'm just, you, you feel me? Like, come on, man. Like, y'all, not, not, not just for no money, man. You know what I'm saying? If this was a thing, you feel me? Like, come on, man. We can't just be doing it like that, bro. Not like that. Not like that. We do have to take things into consideration. Because like he said, it's, it'll cause a problem for both of you. Because y'all get to talk, tussling and tussling, you know what I'm saying? We've been done find out. Y'all really been, y'all been in, y'all's, y'all's fight been done put us on G. And you know what I'm saying? You got people like I. Looking. <laughs> I'm looking for something. You know what I'm talking about? And I'm going to find what I'm looking for regardless of what, of what they trying to hide. I'm going to find what I look for. You know what I'm saying? I always find, I'll, I always get what, I, get what I'm looking for. You know what I'm talking about? Even if I got to go in the inside, I'll get it. So I'd rather just come sometimes looks out here because it's kind of fun to go through the information and just see what 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 people got to offer out here. You know what I'm saying? And even if people coming up with this stuff in their minds, it's like with all these different cannons and all this type of stuff. You know what I'm saying? I mean, it's 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 yeah. You feel me? But I I wouldn't trust them. So, y'all let me know what y'all think about it in the comment section, you know what I'm saying? For those that have seen it, you know what I'm saying? Let me know what your comments are. I mean, w- let me know what your opinions are about these people. You feel me? You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm, you, 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 put me, you put me on game, so we, we going through the game that you, you know what I'm saying? The, uh, the, play, the, the playbook that you put me on, so we finna run through it. We almost done with the list. And, um, but y'all let me know what y'all think about them. You feel me? Like, for real, for real. I don't, you know what I'm saying? I don't care if you believe that it's real or not. I don't, you know what I'm saying? Let's 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 just get past that part. Whether you believe it's real or not, let's just get past that. Let's just get into our thoughts on such subjects. You know what I'm saying? Because I would like to know your thoughts as well. So, uh, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Uh, do keep your head on a swivel. You know what I'm saying? Do not forget to protect yourself at all times, uh, mentally, spiritually, physically, and emotionally. Do not let this world drive y'all crazy. Y'all, you know I mean. Um, of course we gonna keep running it up. Y'all keep keep rocking in that oil. You know what I'm saying? Keep your CT on. Y'all keep keep vibing high. Y'all you know what I mean? And uh, stay stay out the way, man. You know what I'm saying? Pay attention to details. Pay attention to the details. We know who's in them things. And uh, yeah, man. <laughs>